Talking about happiness is very challenging and complex because happiness is not just what you consume, uh, it, there's much more about it. It would uh, take me a very long time to cover the topic. We have uh, the right of pursuing happiness. This is stated in the American Constitution. It's probably the most important right. I believe happiness is something we have within ourselves, something we are searching for without knowing exactly what it is, because we don't know for sure what can make us happy. Sometimes we make new experiences, new feelings, and we are searching for happiness. I come from the countryside, and happiness for me means nature, it's something we don't know very well, a real miracle. Uh, which is surrounding us, and unfortunately, our civilization has not respected nature. Uh, the life of man has been very difficult. Uh, uh, we have started our life as human beings uh, fighting. Uh, we were scared. Uh, so, end of the fear, beginning of love. Uh, this is my catchword. Uh, in the past uh, generation, uh, uh, there was a prevailing fear. We were fighting with other people, with other tribes, uh, cities, and nations. Uh, now we have mondialism, the whole world. Uh, that's incredible. We are scared by that. Uh, but uh, it takes us uh, away the opportunity of fighting wars. Uh, this will be the beginning of a new era, the era of love. Uh, there are many people sitting in this conference room from various countries. We are all here to see something new happen. These uh, great meetings involving uh, many people from different backgrounds uh, setting up a network uh, are really the beginning of a new era, an era where people will love each other according to their individual desires, uh, to their feelings, uh, irrespective of the language or of the country of origin, uh, to promote uh, the well-being, uh, to be happy. And now let me tell you something about uh, my company, my story. I have gone away from Italy. I have happened to be in London in 1965. I have found out uh, that there were other ways of living uh, and thinking back in Milan. I have thought I want to create a place where it's possible to live and think differently from what we are currently doing in Milan. I have uh, called an expert in sculpture to create uh, something new in my store. I want uh, to have items and products, but before them, I want to love to be present in my store. Selling goods uh, is not my primary need. It's just uh, the consequence uh, of a primary need, uh, the need of uh, uh, having the feeling you're being loved. Uh, we need to convey that. Um, that's uh, the end of the fear. That's uh, the beginning of love at the beginning of a new life. Uh, I wanted to create a container, a sort of bridge, a sort of box and container where anything could happen. We were also staging concerts uh, with Mario Del Ponte. Uh, they were in the window case, images. Uh, I was taking um, music, songs, uh, and texts from London. There were no commercial radios in those days. Uh, I wanted to convey the feeling that this was not just a place where you could buy products. It was a sort of community where you could feel well. 
Uh, this is uh, the need which is also reflected in modern communities. Uh, the primary need was to meet other people. This was uh, really a gathering place for people. And what was happening there? There were many people going out uh, saying, uh, good, I felt uh, depressed before getting into the store. And after this experience, I was uh, smiling and happy. It's a sort of a therapy place. Uh, why? Because uh, there's much love in it. Uh, we are not just uh, there to sell goods. Uh, I like to be among people. I'm shy. I'm still shy. I don't like to talk in public. You can probably tell it from my voice. Um, I was very shy, but I have managed to overcome that. Uh, I am no longer afraid of other people. I like to be with other people. Uh, here you see more pictures uh, proving uh, that there has been a need to change uh, the approach uh, to other people. Uh, look at the way they are dressed, uh, mini skirts, uh, the um, first mini skirts in London, uh, seeing legs uh, which were always uh, covered by these uh, skirts below the knee was really something revolutionary. Mary Quaint and the invention of the mini skirts of Biba, uh, Barbara Ranici with this new store. And this was Tito Pastori, my left arm. Uh, he was in charge of many of the projects uh, that I have developed. Uh, and here you see Via Torino. Let me just comment uh, the store in Via Torino where there was a floor for goods, the underground floor. Then there was a restaurant, ground floor. And then there was also a theater at the upper level where we could stage uh, shows. Because feeling well means being in a place uh, where you're not just selling goods. So it's a way of meeting other people and feeling at ease with them, feeling in harmony. This was uh, the formula which uh, has now become more common. Uh, the, uh, let's consider Corso Coma or Excelsior, where you can eat and buy an experience. Uh, uh, this was uh, innovative. It was not everything for everybody. There was a certain segment of consumers. I was obsessed by the idea that uh, we need to be democratic also in fashion. So we had very accessible prices for our goods. So we wanted uh, them to be accessible to everybody. And uh, uh, then also the, the approach and the behavior of products. Uh, this is also a new culture, funny, revolutionary products, uh, very colorful ones. And uh, you were really perceiving uh, an atmosphere which was not present in other stores in Italy or elsewhere in those years. Uh, so you have been a pioneer. You have developed something. You were really 50 years ahead of time. We should give, give him a round of applause for that. Uh, here you see this is something incredible uh, and yet simple. Mickey Mouse, uh, which uh, was only used uh, for kids' apparel. We have started using uh, uh, Mickey Mouse on T-shirts for adults. It was a real revolution. Nice looking uh, uh, women with a nice breast wearing uh, Mickey Mouse uh, shirts. Uh, a real revolution. Uh, and denim trousers, uh, the revolution of denim. Something very simple and easy to achieve. I loved the denim trousers. So there was Levi's, a Wrangler, and Lee at Ibiza. I have seen uh, Levi's uh, uh, worn out uh, trousers. Uh, uh, they had a wearability, uh, which was uh, the wearability of the working uniform. Uh, they were not highlighting uh, uh, the bottom of the girls. So since we want to highlight uh, this beauty, this natural beauty of women's body, uh, we have been working uh, on uh, the shape and the model. He was working for Valentina. 
Latino. He was uh, developing uh, models, mm, and we ha he has started working for Fiorucci. This was uh, the challenge. I would like to develop denim trousers, highlighting the beauty and the shape of uh, women's uh, bodies. Uh, uh, this is a working fabric. It's not the best uh, fabric that you can use. We need to make it softer, and this is how the new denim was born. We have been selling thousands of pieces of these new denim trousers, and it's a phenomenon which has propagated worldwide. And then we have opened another store. Here you see this is a drawing I was in New York. I have decided to open a store in central New York on the 59th Avenue and a very large store. Andrea Branzi was uh, the designer uh, with the success of the store. Uh, Franco Marabelli was uh, the third designer. And there we had a real surprise. Uh, we thought it was extremely difficult to surprise people in New York. On the contrary, uh, we have seen that everybody was eager to see the new Fiagucci store. Among the very first visitors, we had Andy Warhol writing in his diary. I've seen Fiagucci's new shop. I found everything I like there. And also nice uh, looking shop assistants. Uh, we haven't uh, then become friends, but uh, he was opening when we have opened in Los Angeles at uh, the second store, and uh, he has written very nice words about Fiagucci. Let me just comment by looking at the pictures to explain you what I have been doing. I love plastic. Uh, this uh, was developed 30 years ago. It was very pioneering. Uh, then we were very nostalgic about the 40s. Uh, this was uh, the cover of a book which was published in the US. Uh, we had very creative uh, graphics. Uh, and then we have been working uh, with uh, Mendini, Ezzere, uh, uh, Memphis, uh, the pioneers in architecture. I loved uh, working with people who were brave enough, uh, brave enough uh, to break away with tradition. Uh, this is Alessandro Mendini with this fashion furniture design. It's a resorts. And then Jordan and the world's actress and model here, uh, these eco leather trousers. Uh, I'm an animalist. Uh, I'm against uh, using hide and natural leather for garments. Uh, this is a nostalgic picture. Um, the American anthology, uh, more posters. Everything was being done with a new mood. Uh, our graphic experts uh, had produced very innovative solutions. Uh, they were very talented people. They have become very famous. Uh, all of uh, our advertising pictures of the first 20 years were then republished. They have been selling 105 million um, issues of that. This is uh, the poster advertising for the restaurant, the restaurant in Via Torino, Milan. This is yet another image. Uh, I like uh, nice looking women uh, models and pin ups. Adriano Celentano, this was uh, the opening of the store, a major event. Uh, Manlio del Ponte was uh, the designer of the new store. It was really something extraordinary. I would like to have a large empty box to contain everything, music, books. And then it was really fantastic talking with Italo Lupi one day. I've told him, I would like people to understand that there are also goods, but next to goods, uh, we have also got a spirit. I need an icon to reflect that. It's not just about uh, selling. It's about uh, spending time together. One day, he came to me with this picture of the two angels. Uh, a blonde-haired and a dark-haired angel looking uh, 
at the sky, searching for something, and they have become so famous. Uh, they have been taken out of their sphere to get onto the market on shopping bags, T-shirts. Uh, these uh, two angels were to be found everywhere. It was a sort of cross-contamination without being afraid of taking something out of its original sphere, uh, using Mickey Mouse uh, for T-shirts for adults or the angels or uncovered uh, naked legs with mini skirts. Uh, I was caught uh, in a fantastic revolution with the wonderful tool, a platform, i.e. my store, where I could do anything and contain anything. Uh, it was beautiful. It was revolutionary. It was really a breakaway with tradition. Uh, Everybody is very nostalgic about it. Here uh, we see Andy Warhol, uh, then uh, Kit Haring, who has been doing some frescoes and paintings. We have staged uh, so many memorable events. Fundamental is also uh, to mention the importance of love. If you are not afraid of revolutions that are taking place, uh, if you are not afraid of uh, breaking away with the schemes, uh, uh, trade uh, has got its own place, uh, the arts have got their own place, uh, religion has got its own place. In life, uh, we need uh, everything together. This is the spirit of man who can cover all of these uh, spheres, also sacred ones, uh, uh, sacred ones uh, that you can find in uh, nice books or pictures. I have always uh, tried to do that out of its instinct. Uh, I have been lucky enough uh, uh, to develop new things. So this is uh, the very first time that Madonna was singing. I already knew her. She was a DJ in those days. Uh, this is uh, her first concert at uh, Studio 54 in Milan. We were celebrating the anniversary of uh, Fiorucci. It was 1983, 15 years after the foundation in 1967. We would go on listening to you all morning long, uh, but we now have to close. Uh, thank you very much. Uh,